Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my two. Coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. plays out definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do well. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Knee to the body, now it's blocked. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Again, he's looking for that left, it's not there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. He's back in the clinch, let's see what he does now. Oh, nice, nice. And he landed the right hand there. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. Piece. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. All right, single collar tie now. Next there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Block that kick to the body. Big body kick land. Oh, and he caught the kick. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Big ball from Punch Land. Now we get back to range. Oh! Landed a big kick there. I mean, cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice right hand. And they separate. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, pinpoint jab to the head on the counter for him. And again, he's the longer fighter. It's going to be easier for him to counter than his opponent. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, and he caught the kicks. And they separate. Head kick. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Nice. Oh, man, head to land. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. Though. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Blocks the shot. 
right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position. Who's going to be the first one to attempt to take down? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Oh. What a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Ooh, what a punch. Roundhouse kick, add that to his highlight reel. Lands the right hand. Look at the flip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. <laughs> Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Back and forth we go. Choi strike attempt there is blocked. That right hand hurt him a little bit. And they separate. Big kick lands. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by the Korean Super Bowl. Just misses with that one. Nice defense there, huge block. Working out of that southpaw stance. Three minutes now to go in round two. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Just missed with the left there. Beautiful strike. Oh, big head kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, that right hand is on point. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And he caught the kick. He loaded up with that right hand, too. Glance, uh, glancing right hand upstairs. Ooh, head kick lands. Perfect. Oh, right punch followed by a left there by the Korean Super Bowl. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! Shot land. Powerful leg kick land. He's really working over that lead leg with those beautiful leg kicks. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body.
Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Good punch lands. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Well, he's got the longer reach and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, big head kick lands. Slips the left hand. Outstanding kick there by Short. And that one certainly found the target. Good right hand right there. He misses with the left hand. And that's the end of round number two. All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close this point. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Big kick land. Nice one-two there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Great punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Just a slip there. Beautiful counter with the punch there and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Just misses there with the left. Wow, what a head kick! Oh, man, he's a hard one. Good right here. Just misses with the jab. Can't take many of those, you better check. Choi's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Straight punch lands. Collar tie there. Punch is blocked. Big power shot there. Changes his stance. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Chor. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Boy, Ty Slump. Huge knee lands from in close. 
And now he's got the tie clinch. What a punch. Nice job staying busy here on the clinch. Slips. Right hook to the body. Oh, nice. There's no tell on that leg kick. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. He's gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Ooh. Jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Take a deep breath and relax. Watch him look to finish this round. Put the pressure on this guy. Move forward behind head movement. Jab, nice All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, next round is underway. And if you look at these He's two trying. guys in between rounds, right. it looks like they barely broke in a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. And you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Nice punch, Lance. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Chor. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Visibly limping here. Good punch. Leg kick. And just misses with that big right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and now he's got that tie kick. And they separate. Nice head kick. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Let's get busy with the Big head man. kick. Come on, let him go. Nice strike. Oh, collar tie. Big and kick. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Ooh. Nice 
Nice punch by Short. Head kick. Checks the leg kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Beautiful body kick. Good fight here, under two to go. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Man. Strikes here off of his back by Chor. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. The Korean Superboy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Just missing on the uppercut there. Joy gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. Nice punch here. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, pin down. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, Nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Oh, big punch land. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, blocks the shot. Look at the angle of that nice body. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Man! Punch over the top. Not there. Checks the leg kick. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. That was the hand. Nice strike. There's no give on that leg kick. Ten. Oh! Oh! He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish. Oh, he might be out. Goodness, what a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight.
All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Contest at 1 minute, 38 seconds of round number 5. The winner by Knockout Assassin. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he sleeps.